guys, welcome back to Jetlag Productions. Today I'm going to show you how to do something that I've gotten more emails, comments, requests, you name it. I've had to do this than almost anything else that I've done on YouTube. And what I'm referring to is upgrading a Traxxas Summit to be both waterproof and brushless. Now let me start by saying, if you do this, you will definitely void your Traxxas warning. If you don't understand what we're doing and you do something wrong and it smokes an ESC or you burn up a motor or you burn up something else or cause a problem with your electronics, Traxxas is not going to replace it. I'm not going to replace it. Nobody's going to replace it. So this is definitely at your own risk and only if you are willing to try this. So if you feel uncomfortable with what we're doing, just don't do it, okay? But for those of you that are interested, I think you'd like to give it a shot. Let's dive in. Now the first thing that you're going to need to do this upgrade, obviously, is a Traxxas Summit. But besides the Summit, you're going to need two VXL 3S speed controllers, brushless speed controllers, and you're going to need two VXL 3500 motors, brushless motors, okay? Now, you would not have to use these exact motors or even these exact speed controllers. You can do this pretty much with any speed control of your choice. Um, there's a couple reasons why I chose these. Number one, I have a ton of Traxxas gear and so I always have some of these motors and ESCs laying around or that I've switched off another truck or that I've used someplace else or that I'm taking off or an extra one or whatever. So that's why I use them. Uh, the other reason why is because the VXL 3S speed controller comes completely waterproof out of the box. Stock, you don't have to worry about it. You can dunk it in water, it'll still run just fine. This combination is already waterproof, the speed controllers and the motors. And that's why it's reasonable to look at this solution. Now, if you wanted to use another speed controller, you could, you could go ahead and waterproof it. You could spray um, you know, uh, liquid tape on it or something. Uh, Squirrel has a video about that and uh, it actually works pretty well, but you'd have to do extra work. Whereas with these, you can go with them just as they are. You don't have to do anything else. Now, I've been asked the question before, did you go this route uh, because it's cheaper than putting in a Mamba Monster and a Mamba Monster speed controller with the 2200 kV motor? The answer is no, it's not cheaper. Because if you have to buy these uh, ESCs and these motors, uh, a pair, one motor and one ESC, is somewhere around $140 to $160. So if you're buying two of them, you're up at $300, $320, something like that, and that's about the cost of a Mamba Monster. So if you, so if you want to do an upgrade specifically to get more power and you don't care about uh, waterproofing, then the Mamba Monster is going to be the same price as this or very close to the same price. The reason why I went with these is because it's waterproof. So I can run this underwater. You guys have seen many of my videos where I'm running them under the creek or taking video under the creek uh, with the Summit, and that's using these motors and these ESCs. Okay, now what I've done on my Summit here is I've cleaned off all the components on the body itself or on the frame. Um, when you buy a Summit brand new stock, it has a single brushed motor, which is the Titan 775, mounted to the transmission. So we need to have a motor mount that will allow two motors to be mounted, and uh, Traxxas actually makes that motor mount. The serial number of that part of the two motor motor mount is the 5690 motor mount, not the 5690X, which is a single motor. The 5690 is a dual motor motor mount, and that's the one we need. Um, I will also tell you, you know, you know, some of you guys watched one of my recent movies where I was running under the creek and I smoked one of my ASCs. Now, the interesting part is a lot of people automatically thought that the reason I smoked an ASC is because I was running it in water. That absolutely is not the case. It was not smoked because I was running in water. I actually smoked that ESC because I didn't disconnect it correctly. Um, many of you may or may not know that there's kind of a little feature or bug or what have you with a lot of Traxxas ESCs, and a lot of people forget to read or never read the little tag that's actually on the ESC power connector. If you look at this closely, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera, if you look at this closely, it actually says disconnect the battery to turn off the speed control. That's critical. If you push the button to turn off the speed controller, there's a problem where sometimes, a certain percentage of the time, it will actually short inside the ESC and it will burn out. 
and you'll see the smoke like you did in, the, in my last video. So that's what actually happened. I wasn't paying attention, wasn't thinking about it. I hit the, bu the power button to turn it off and that happened and I smoked an ESC. So it's very, very important if you have one of these tags on your ESC and it's from Traxxas, make sure when you get done using it, you actually unplug the battery. Don't push the button to turn it off. Now the first thing we're gonna do here is go ahead and mount the motors onto the frame. And these motors need to have the same pinion gear on them, the same size pinion gear. Now I've got a 20 tooth pinion gear uh, on both of these motors. Um, you can buy these from Traxxas, so there's lots of places online where you can buy these, but it's a 20 tooth pinion gear. It has to fit a VXL 3500 um, brushless motor. And they need to be the same size. If they're even one tooth off, that's gonna be a huge problem and it's gonna burn out one of your motors because they're gonna be running at different speeds. The other thing is, the way that these motors get mounted, one of them is gonna be running in reverse and one of them is gonna be running forward. So the motor that's mounted this way is going to be running forward, but the motor that's mounted on this side of the firewall is actually gonna be running in reverse to be able to, to push the, the uh, spur gear the same direction. So it's very, very important when we get to that part of the electronics to hook it up, that you make sure that the motors are spinning different directions when you pull the power, because if they aren't, they're fighting each other, they're both trying to turn the same way and they're going to burn each other out. So let's go ahead and mount the motors. Okay, so as you can see now, I have both motors mounted. One of them is mounted backwards, because once again, this is the front of the truck. One of them is mounted forwards. They are both connecting to the spur gear, and they both need to roll freely. Be snug, but roll freely, so that you don't have a lot of tension there when you turn the spur gear, okay? Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to put on our speed controllers, okay? so. One of these can mount where your original speed controller went, um, but we're gonna need to mount a second one as well. So what I do is the second one, I actually make a little bracket. Aluminum yardsticks work great to make to, as, as stock to make little pieces that you need for RC. I use them all the time, as some of you know. And then I'm just going to mount that on with pull ties, or you could actually bolt it on if you wanted to. And then I'm gonna mount the other ESC there. So one will be here. One will be up here. You want to keep them apart and you want to keep them away from where your electronics is going to go for your receiver, which is all going to be here. I've taken all that off. It's all laying down here. But that's going to be mounted right here and you want to keep that away from your ESCs if at all possible. So that's where I'm going to mount them. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so the ESCs are mounted. We've got them separated and we've got two of them. Now this part is very, very important. So make sure and pay attention here. The way that these motors are wired to the ESCs will determine which way the motor will turn when you press the trigger, okay? So if you put the color codes together just the way they are, blue to blue, yellow to yellow, white to white, when you pull the trigger, it will spin in a forward direction. Now one other thing that I like to do with my connections is I actually braid them. This is so that uh, it helps with interference from messing with your radio. With 2.4 gigahertz, it's a lot less likely you'll have problems, but if you braid these cables, there's a lot of, of uh, static interference that comes off these cables, but if you braid them, that actually helps keep that static to a minimum. So some people know that, some people don't. I thought I'd just throw that in there. Uh, once again, they still need to go to the proper color connector though. Now the other ESC, once again, I'm gonna braid the uh, cables just because let's cut down interference whenever we can, not because we're really having a problem with that. So once you've got the cable braided up there, now what I'm gonna do here is any two of these I'm gonna reverse. It doesn't matter which two. 
So in my case, I'm going to use blue and white. So the yellow one I'm going to connect correctly, but the white I'm going to connect to blue, and the blue I'm going to connect to white. So you see what I did there? White is to blue, blue is to white, yellow is to yellow. Okay? So now, this motor is going to run in a forward direction. This motor is going to run in a reverse direction, which means that it will actually be spinning the same way as this motor because it's backwards. Okay? So that will actually allow it to spin the same direction, since it's backwards, and to turn to, to assist in turning the spur gear. Very, very important to get that part correct.